guys, how are you? Welcome back to this new video. My name is Vivek Mishra. I'm really happy today because this is a new day of 2023. So I'm wishing you very, very happy new year. And I hope you are enjoying your weekend with your family. So guys, this video is going to be really, really exciting because today I'm going to show you something which is really, really important on board. So I'm going to show you one machinery which is one of the most important machinery on board ship. There is something which is not possible without this machinery. So guys, I'm talking about freshwater generator which converts seawater into fresh water. But before that, I have some job on Monkey Island. So let's proceed there. So right now I'm on top of the main mast. This is the highest point of this vessel. I came here to check something over here. So I would like to show you some equipments that have been installed on this platform. So this is like a radars. And there is one more radars. So here you can see lot of cranes. They are doing operations, unloading, loading cargo operations. And there, there are some mountains. There are also a lot of trains and mountains. There you can see some windmills. One, two, three. So this is a pneumatic whistle which is on the main mast. And that one is forward. And we have a forward whistle over there. And this is a tilting system. Signal light tilting system. So we use this tilting system when we pass through some bridge just to make enough space between main mast and a bridge platform. So uh, this is a monkey island uh, and uh, that sailor, this is a VSAT uh, that provides us internet through the satellite. Now I came back to monkey island. And we have been reported that there is one signal light that is green signal it? light which is not working. So I came here to check that. So this is the light which is not working that is a green signal light. We use these lights during transiting Malaysia and Singapore Strait. Yeah. That is a TSS light. So for example if, if these lights are on and uh, if any other vessel saw us yeah, the with one. these lights on then they will clear our passage. So the main purpose of this light is to give indication or signal to other vessels that we are transiting Malaysia and Singapore Strait. So these signal lights are very important. They play very important role in navigation. So before starting our passage, we need to make sure that all the, all the signal lights and navigation lights are working and in intact. And guys, there you can see MSC vessel. And there are some more vessels, they are drifting. Before working all off, there, there are few things that you need to take care before proceeding to your job. So first thing, so first thing you need to make a permit to work that is working all off, and you need to get approval from the senior officers. And after that, you can proceed with your job. And then you have to wear, you have to wear this safety harness that can prevent you, that can support you when you are hanging somewhere or working all off. And you need to keep one guy stand by always who can just who can watch on you if something goes wrong then he can report immediately. So guys, I have finished my job here on Monkey Island. So now this is the time to show you the freshwater generator that we have on board. So guys, uh, right now I'm in accommodation and to show you this freshwater generator, I need to go to engine room. 
but today I cannot go from outside as we are alongside in Ningbo, China. As we all know that COVID-19 cases are rising in China. So terminal has advised us to not to go out. So it is strictly not allowed to go out of the accommodation. Today I will use underleg passageway to go to Enjuro. And I think it is a good idea to avoid the spreading of COVID-19. And you guys also take care of yourself. Use mask, use sanitizer and uh, avoid to go to crowded place so guys this is the entrance to the port side under deck passageway So guys this is a watertight door so this door should be always closed and uh, here this is the way to go to forward and this side to the aft. So this is a entrance to the engine room, here you can see there are some instructions that uh, no admittance to unauthorized persons and high noise level use hearing protection. So before entering in engine room, you must wear this ear protection. It is very very important because there are a lot of machinery inside always running and uh, because of that they are producing a lot of noise. So to protect your ears you need to wear these ear muffs. So this is E-Tech guys and uh, now I'm entering to ECR, ECR that is engine control room. <laughs> yeah. Here is a Mr. Motorman, can you introduce yeah. yourself? Yeah. Speak uh, your Motorman name. Nikashio Arellano, Filipino. Happy New Year. <laughs> <laughs> so here is a happy guy in ECR. We are in the ECR engine control room. From here, we control everything on the main engine generators. And here we have some electrical switchboards. Here is like a number one main transformer panel, number two and three and four, like that. This is 440 switchboard. And here also 440 switchboard. These are generator panels. Uh, number one generator, number three, number four and turbine generator and here we have a shaft generators and uh, here you can see this is a engine control console we have a lot of uh, indicators like rpm indicators for main engine number one main engine number two as i have explained to you before that we have two main engines on the ship and this is a uh, cams from here we can control and monitor each and everything from here and here you can see this is a telegraph telephone and all about and uh, i will go in details in my next videos so this is the time to show you the fresh water generator so let's go there and fresh water generator located at e3 platform So here we have elevator, it's already here so we can go inside. So we are on E3, first deck that is engine control room, then we have to go third deck. So here we can find this fresh water generator. So the door is closing. Okay, let's go out. And here you can see this is main engine number one. Uh, 
guys have you ever thought that on these big vessels how we manage to get fresh water supply as we all know that we don't have a hand pump over here or no any other suitable fresh water supply so how we are generating fresh water for our daily routine like for drinking bathing washing and so the answer for all question is this that we have a fresh water generator on board so the fresh water generator converts sea water to fresh water and the fresh water produced from fresh water generator we use as a drinking cooking washing bathing and sometimes for cooling the machinery as well on an average on vessels there is a demand of fresh water between 7 to 10 tons per day for daily usage and the fresh water generator we have it has a capacity of generating 36 ton of water 24 hours so now i'm going to show you machinery which converts sea water into fresh water so here we are this is fresh water generator water generator have some main components like a heater evaporator condenser then ejector pump fresh water pump uh, salinometer which monitors the salt content in the fresh water generated by this fresh water so i'm going to show you one by one each things which is a part of this fresh water generator here this is a fresh water generator casing and here you can see this is hot water in like a jacket cooling water and and this water is coming from the jacket cooling from the main engine this is a hot water inlet and this one is this one is hot water outlet as you can see it's written over there ah okay and this is a sea water inlet and sea water outlet this sea water is pumping with the help of ejector pump which is taking suction from the sea and supplying to the condenser to cool down the condenser then that water goes to evaporate evaporator for evaporation process then that water is going to this ejector breen and air ejector from this one this this breen this breen and air ejector used to create vacuum inside this fresh water casing and guys here you can see this is a fresh water outlet now i will try to explain you theoretically that what is the basic operating principle of the fresh water generator and what are the procedures and uh, precautions that we need to take care before starting this machinery so guys before i talk about the basic operating principle of the fresh water generator i would like to mention some main components of a fresh water generator here so the first one is a heater that is plate type which raises the feed water temperature for evaporation the second one is evaporator here you can see here you can see this area this is evaporator chamber that is called a demister and the second one is condenser over here this is a condenser plate type heat exchanger condenses the vapor into distillate water and the fourth one is combined air brain ejector here you can see this Uh, look something like this and guys fifth one is ejector pump here you can see this is ejector pump the ejector pump provides a continuous supply of sea water to the evaporator so so guys ejector pump looks something like this and the next one is fresh water distillate pump here you can see this is a fresh water so guys this is fresh water pump so the distillate water or fresh water which is produced over here is pumped to the fresh water storage tank via this line using this fresh water pump 
So guys, the fresh water pump looks something like this. Here, this is a fresh water pump. And guys, the next one is the salinometer over here, which monitors the salt content in the fresh water produced. And the last one, this is the control panel for operating this fresh water generator. And here you can see this ejector pump indication, fresh water pump indication, source on, and this is main switch, main power switch, alarm. So guys, let's talk about the basic operating principle of the fresh water generator. Fresh water is generally produced on board using the evaporation method. There are two things that are available in plenty on ship to produce fresh water, sea water and heat. Thus, fresh water is produced by evaporating sea water using heat from any of the heat source. The evaporated sea water is then again cooled by the sea water and the cycle repeats. Generally, the heat source available is taken from the main jacket cooling water which is caused which is used for cooling the main engine components such as cylinder head liner etc the temperature available from this jacket water is about 70 degree centigrade but at this temperature the evaporation of the water is not possible as we all know that the evaporation of water take place at 100 degree centigrade under atmospheric pressure thus in order to produce fresh water at 70 degree we need to reduce the atmospheric pressure which is done by creating a vacuum inside the chamber where the evaporation is taking place. Also as a result of the vacuum, the cooling of the evaporated sea water will also take place at lower temperature. This cooled water is collected and transferred to the tank. And now we will talk about the starting of the freshwater generator. So, there are few things that we need to take care before starting the freshwater generator. The first one is, before starting the freshwater generator, we have to check that the ship is not in congested water like canals and, uh, uh, and the ship is uh, 20 nautical miles away from the shore. This is done because near the shore, the incidents from factories and seaways are discharged into the sea can get into the freshwater generator. Second, check whether engine is running above 50 rpm and the reason for this is that a low rpm, the temperature of jacket water which is around 60 degrees and not sufficient for evaporation of water. The third is, check the drain valve present at the bottom of the generator is closed position. And here we have instruction that how to start this fresh water generator and how to stop fresh water generator over here. So how to start the fresh water generator, start the seawater pump, check pressure at inlet and outlet fresh water generator, close the vacuum breaker valve on fresh water generator, open main engine cooling water inlet outlet valve, open valve on outlet from this and this, so you can clearly read this. Now the next thing is how to stop fresh water generator. Easy, you just need to follow the instruction which is written over there and uh, we can start this fresh water generator. So guys, till now I hope you would have liked this video and if you have liked this content and found the content informative then please like, subscribe and hit the bell icon to see more interesting and informative videos in the future. Till then, keep smiling, be happy and happy new year in advance. Enjoy your weekend and make new resolutions for this next year 2023 and enjoy your life. See you in the next video. Till then, take care. Bye-bye. And guys, thank you so much for your support. So I have entered in 2023. So please keep supporting, keep liking and keep subscribing my channel. I wish you good luck, Rajesh Kumar Jamui, for your Merchant Navy career.